full meaning of story and about salt a spiritual weapon? The hidden truth of salt in the Bible. Salt, as a spiritual weapon, is a concept that explores the symbolic and practical significance of salt in biblical texts and spiritual traditions. The Bible often uses salt symbolically to convey deeper spiritual truths. Here's a comprehensive look at the concept. Biblical significance of salt Salt holds significant symbolic and practical meaning in the Bible. Here's a detailed exploration of its biblical significance. The covenant of salt is a significant concept in the Bible, symbolizing an enduring and unbreakable agreement between God and His people. Here's a deeper look at what it means and its implications. Biblical References Numbers 1819 All the holy contributions that the Israelites present to the Lord I give to you and your sons and daughters as your perpetual share. It is an everlasting covenant of salt before the Lord for you and your offspring. 2 Chronicles 13 verse 5 Don't you know that the Lord, the God of Israel, has given the kingship of Israel to David and his descendants forever by a covenant of salt? Significance and Symbolism Perpetuity and Faithfulness Enduring Nature Salt was highly valued in the ancient world for its ability to preserve food and prevent decay. This quality makes it a fitting symbol for a covenant that is meant to be permanent and lasting. The Covenant of Salt represents an everlasting and unchanging agreement, highlighting the faithfulness of God's promises. Unbreakable Agreement Symbol of Commitment just as salt cannot lose its saltiness and continue to function in its preservative role, a covenant of salt symbolizes an unbreakable commitment. It underscores the idea that God's promises and agreements are steadfast and reliable. Spiritual and Ritual Significance Sacrificial Context In the context of the Old Testament sacrificial system, salt was used in offerings to God. Its inclusion in rituals reinforced the idea that offerings and covenants with God were to be made with sincerity and permanence. The salt represented the perpetual nature of the relationship between God and His people. Historical and Cultural Context Ancient Practice Salt was a valuable commodity in ancient times, often used in trade and rituals. Its use in a covenant reflects its importance and the seriousness with which such agreements were regarded. In the cultural context, salt signified purity, value, and preservation, making it an appropriate symbol for divine covenants. Theological Implications Divine Assurance The covenant of salt assures believers of God's enduring faithfulness. It signifies that God's promises are as reliable and lasting as the nature of salt itself. Call to Faithfulness For those in a covenant relationship with God, the salt covenant serves as a reminder of the need for faithfulness and commitment. Just as God remains steadfast, so too should His people uphold their end of the agreement. Preservation of Righteousness The use of salt as a preservative reinforces the role of believers in preserving moral and spiritual integrity in their communities. It emphasizes the importance of maintaining righteousness and purity in a world that can become morally corrupt. Conclusion the Covenant of Salt is a profound biblical symbol representing the enduring, unbreakable nature of God's promises. It reflects the permanence and reliability of divine commitments and serves as a call to uphold faithfulness and integrity in the relationship between God and His people. Through its use in sacred rituals and its symbolic meaning, salt underscores the seriousness and lasting nature of spiritual covenants. In the Bible, Salt is often used as a symbol of purity and preservation. Here's a closer look at how salt represents these concepts. Symbol of Purity Purification Rituals 2 Kings 2 verses 20-21 Elisha uses salt to cleanse the waters of Jericho, which had become undrinkable. This act symbolizes the purification of something that had become corrupted. The salt purifies the water, making it fit for use again illustrating the idea that salt represents divine intervention and cleansing. Sacrificial Offerings Leviticus 2 verse 13 Season all your grain offerings with salt. Do not leave the salt of the covenant of your God out of your grain offerings. Add salt to all your offerings. Salt was a required component in the grain offerings, emphasizing that the offerings were to be made with sincerity and purity. It symbolizes the idea that just as salt preserves and purifies, offerings to God should be pure and genuine. Moral Purity 
Matthew 5 verse 13. Jesus refers to believers as the salt of the earth, suggesting that they are meant to embody and promote moral purity in a corrupt world. Believers are called to live in a way that preserves and upholds spiritual and moral standards, just as salt preserves food from decay. Symbol of Preservation Preservation of Food In ancient times, salt was crucial for preserving food. This practical use symbolizes the role of believers in preserving moral and spiritual values in a world prone to decay and corruption. Just as salt prevents food from spoiling, believers are called to prevent moral decay in society. Role in Covenants Numbers 18.19 and 2 Chronicles 13 verse 5 speak of a covenant of salt, reflecting the idea that God's promises are enduring and preserved over time. Salt's ability to preserve food is a fitting metaphor for the lasting nature of divine covenants. Spiritual Preservation Mark 9 verse 50 Salt is good, but if it loses its saltiness, how can you make it salty again? Have salt among yourselves, and be at peace with each other. This verse encourages believers to maintain their moral and spiritual integrity. Just as salt must retain its properties to be effective, believers must retain their purity and commitment to preserve their spiritual effectiveness. Conclusion Salt's role as a symbol of purity and preservation highlights its importance in biblical symbolism. Purity Salt represents the cleansing and purifying power of God, whether in rituals, offerings, or in the moral conduct of believers. It signifies the need for spiritual purity and sincerity in one's relationship with God. Preservation Salt's ability to prevent decay and spoilage translates into the role of believers in preserving righteousness and moral values in their communities. It emphasizes the importance of maintaining spiritual integrity and upholding divine standards. In these ways, salt serves as a powerful symbol of both divine cleansing and the preservation of spiritual and moral values. In biblical contexts, salt is often associated with cleansing and healing. Here's an in-depth look at how salt symbolizes these concepts. Cleansing. Purification of water. 2 Kings 2 verses 20-21. The prophet Elisha uses salt to purify the polluted waters of Jericho. The waters had become undrinkable, and Elisha's use of salt symbolizes a divine intervention to restore purity. The salt's ability to transform the water from being undrinkable to clean signifies its role in purifying what has become tainted or corrupted. Symbol of Spiritual Cleansing Salt's purifying properties are often seen as a metaphor for the cleansing of sin or spiritual impurities. Just as salt removes impurities and preserves purity, it symbolizes the process of spiritual cleansing, where divine intervention purifies and renews individuals or communities. Ritualistic Purity In the Old Testament, salt was included in various rituals and offerings as a sign of purity. Its presence in sacrifices and rituals underscored the importance of making offerings to God with purity and sincerity. This practice illustrates the concept of using salt as a symbol of spiritual and ritualistic cleanliness. Healing Restoration of Waters The act of Elisha using salt to heal the waters of Jericho can also be seen as a form of healing. The polluted waters were not only cleansed but restored to a state where they could sustain life. This healing aspect demonstrates salt's role in bringing restoration and vitality to what was previously unusable or harmful. Metaphorical Healing Salt's ability to heal can be metaphorically applied to spiritual healing. The idea is that just as salt can purify and restore physical substances, it symbolizes the divine healing and restoration of spiritual and emotional wounds. It represents the transformative power of God to heal and renew individuals spiritually. Symbolism and Healing Practices In various traditions and cultures, salt has been used in healing rituals and practices. Its historical use in medicinal and cleansing contexts supports its symbolic role in healing, illustrating how ancient practices align with biblical symbolism. Biblical Symbolism of Cleansing and Healing with Salt Divine Intervention Salt's role in cleansing and healing signifies divine intervention. It represents God's power to purify and restore illustrating the belief that divine action can bring about transformation and renewal. Restoration and Renewal The use of salt in purification and healing symbolizes the broader concept of restoration and renewal. It reflects the belief that God can restore what has been corrupted or damaged, whether in physical, spiritual, 
or emotional contexts. Purity and Integrity Salt's association with purity and its role in rituals emphasize the importance of maintaining spiritual integrity. The process of cleansing and healing with salt underscores the need for purity in one's relationship with God and in the conduct of life. Conclusion Salt's symbolism in cleansing and healing in the Bible illustrates its profound significance. Cleansing Salt represents the divine power to purify and remove impurities, whether in physical substances like water or in spiritual contexts. It signifies the process of divine purification and the restoration of purity. Healing Salt's use in healing reflects its role in bringing restoration and vitality. It symbolizes the transformative power of divine intervention to heal and renew, both physically and spiritually. Through its various roles, salt serves as a powerful symbol of cleansing, healing, and divine restoration, highlighting its importance in biblical teachings and practices. In the Bible, salt also symbolizes destruction and judgment, representing the permanence and severity of divine consequences. Here's a closer look at how salt embodies these themes. Salt as a symbol of destruction. Lot's wife. Genesis 19 verse 26. But Lot's wife looked back, and she became a pillar of salt. Significance. Lot's wife turned into a pillar of salt when she looked back at the burning cities of Sodom and Gomorrah, which God was destroying due to their wickedness. This transformation signifies the irreversible nature of divine judgment. Her transformation into salt serves as a permanent and visible reminder of the consequences of disobedience and the importance of following God's commands without looking back. Desolation of Sodom and Gomorrah Deuteronomy 29 verse 23 Describes the land of Sodom and Gomorrah as a land of burning sulfur and salt. Significance The description of Sodom and Gomorrah as a land of salt highlights the total desolation and ruin resulting from divine judgment. Salt in this context represents the enduring desolation left in the wake of God's wrath, emphasizing the finality and severity of the destruction. Symbol of Divine Judgment In ancient times, salt was used to symbolize the saltiness of judgment. For example, the practice of sowing salt in conquered lands to render them barren was a way to symbolize total defeat and desolation. This practice reflects the use of salt as a metaphor for complete and unyielding destruction. Theological Implications Irreversibility of Judgment Salt's symbolism in destruction underscores the concept that divine judgment is final and irreversible. Just as salt's effect on soil can render it barren and unproductive, divine judgment results in a permanent state of ruin for those who face it. Consequences of Disobedience The transformation of Lot's wife into a pillar of salt serves as a stark warning about the consequences of disobedience and failure to heed God's warnings. It emphasizes the seriousness with which God views obedience and the consequences of turning away from His instructions. Permanence of Divine Wrath The use of salt to describe the destruction of Sodom and Gomorrah highlights the enduring nature of divine wrath. It symbolizes the permanence of God's judgment and the ultimate consequences of living in defiance of divine commands. Conclusion. In biblical contexts, salt as a symbol of destruction and judgment serves to illustrate. Finality. Salt represents the irreversible and permanent nature of divine judgment, emphasizing that God's judgments are absolute and unchangeable. Consequences. It reflects the serious consequences of disobedience and failure to follow divine instructions. The use of salt in this way serves as a warning about the severity of divine wrath. Desolation. Salt's role in the desolation of conquered lands and the depiction of destroyed cities illustrates the total and enduring impact of divine judgment, symbolizing the complete ruin and barrenness that can result from defying God. Through these symbols, salt reinforces the concept of divine judgment and the importance of adhering to God's commands. Spiritual Weapon Aspect The concept of salt as a spiritual weapon is rooted in its symbolic roles in the Bible and spiritual traditions. Here's a detailed exploration of how salt functions as a spiritual weapon. The idea of salt as a defense against evil is deeply rooted in both biblical symbolism and spiritual practices. Here's how salt is viewed as a protective force. 1. Biblical Symbolism of Protection Protection from Negative Forces In many ancient cultures, including those reflected in biblical texts, 
salt was believed to have protective qualities. It was used in rituals and practices to ward off evil spirits and negative influences. This belief is rooted in the idea that salt, with its purifying properties, could create a barrier against spiritual harm. Biblical References While specific references to salt as a defense against evil are not explicitly detailed in the Bible, its role in purification and sanctification rituals implies its protective nature. For example, the use of salt in offerings, e.g., Leviticus 2 verse 13, and purification rituals signifies its role in maintaining purity and integrity, which can be extended to its protective function. 2. Spiritual Practices and Traditions Ancient Practices In ancient times, salt was often used to create protective barriers. For instance, salt was sprinkled around homes or properties to protect them from evil spirits and negative influences. This practice reflects the belief that salt could create a sanctified and protected space. Modern Spiritual Uses In contemporary spiritual practices, salt is still used for protection. It may be sprinkled in certain areas of a home, used in rituals, or included in spiritual baths to cleanse and protect individuals from harmful energies or entities. 3. Symbolism in Purification Purification as Protection the act of purifying with salt is seen as a way to remove impurities and negative influences. This purification process can be viewed as a form of spiritual defense, where removing impurities protects against spiritual harm. For example, the cleansing of the waters of Jericho by Elisha, 2 Kings 2 verses 20-21, symbolizes the removal of corruption, which can also imply protection from negative influences. Sanctification Salt's role in rituals and offerings, e.g., Leviticus 2 verse 13, symbolizes the sanctification of spaces and practices. By sanctifying and purifying through the use of salt, individuals and places are protected from spiritual contamination and malevolent forces. 4. Metaphorical Protection Moral and Spiritual Integrity Matthew 5 verse 13, Jesus refers to believers as the salt of the earth suggesting that they have a role in preserving moral and spiritual integrity. By living according to divine principles and maintaining righteousness, believers act as a protective force against moral decay and spiritual corruption. Resistance to Evil The metaphorical use of salt in this context implies that maintaining one's spiritual integrity and moral values acts as a defense against the influence of evil. Just as salt preserves food, it represents the preservation of righteousness and virtue which protects against negative spiritual influences. Practical Applications Spiritual Protection Rituals In various spiritual and religious traditions, salt is used in rituals designed to create protective barriers or cleanse spaces from negative energies. This can include sprinkling salt around a home, using it in spiritual baths, or including it in consecration ceremonies. Personal Spiritual Practice Individuals might use the symbolism of salt to remind themselves of their role in protecting their spiritual well-being. This can involve practices aimed at maintaining moral integrity, seeking divine protection, and creating a sanctified space free from negative influences. Conclusion Salt's role as a defense against evil is deeply embedded in its symbolic and practical uses. Protection from negative forces Salt has been historically and symbolically used to create protective barriers against evil and negative influences. Purification and Sanctification The use of salt in purification rituals reflects its role in removing spiritual impurities and creating a protected, sanctified space. Moral and Spiritual Integrity The metaphorical use of salt emphasizes the preservation of righteousness and moral values as a defense against spiritual decay. In both biblical symbolism and modern spiritual practices, salt serves as a powerful symbol of protection and defense against evil. In the Bible and spiritual practices, salt is a potent symbol of purity and spiritual cleansing. Here's a detailed exploration of how salt represents these concepts. Symbol of Purity Purification Rituals 2 Kings 2 verses 20-21 Elisha uses salt to cleanse the waters of Jericho. The waters were undrinkable and corrupted, and the salt made them pure and suitable for use again. This act illustrates salt's role in removing impurities and restoring purity, symbolizing the divine ability to purify and renew. Sacrificial Offerings Leviticus 2 verse 13 
season all your grain offerings with salt. Do not leave the salt of the covenant of your God out of your grain offerings. Add salt to all your offerings. Salt was a required component in grain offerings, emphasizing the need for offerings to be made with purity and sincerity. This reflects the broader concept that spiritual offerings should be pure and unblemished. Moral Purity Matthew 5 verse 13 Jesus says, You are the salt of the earth. This metaphor suggests that believers are to act as a purifying force in the world, preserving moral and spiritual integrity. Just as salt preserves food from decay, believers are called to preserve righteousness and spiritual purity. Symbol of Spiritual Cleansing Cleansing and Purification 2 Kings 2 verses 20-21 Repeated the use of salt by Elisha to purify the waters represents a broader concept of divine cleansing. Salt here symbolizes the removal of spiritual impurities and the restoration of what was previously corrupted or defiled. Symbolism in Rituals Salt was used in various purification rituals in the Old Testament. Its inclusion in sacrifices and offerings symbolizes the need for spiritual purity in the cleansing of both offerings and the individual making them. Metaphorical Cleansing In a broader spiritual sense, Salt's role in purification can be seen as a metaphor for the process of spiritual cleansing. Just as salt removes impurities from food or water, it represents the divine action of removing sin and spiritual corruption from individuals or communities. Theological Implications Divine Purification Salt symbolizes the divine power to purify and cleanse. The process of using salt to remove impurities highlights the belief in God's ability to cleanse individuals and communities from sin and spiritual decay. Restoration and Renewal The act of purification with salt represents the broader concept of spiritual renewal. It signifies the transformative power of divine intervention to restore what has been spiritually damaged or corrupted. Call to Purity The metaphorical use of salt emphasizes the call to maintain spiritual purity. Believers are encouraged to live lives that reflect moral integrity and spiritual cleanliness, acting as a purifying influence in the world. Practical Applications Spiritual Cleansing Rituals In various spiritual traditions, salt is used in rituals to symbolize purification. This can include sprinkling salt around a space to cleanse it of negative energies, using salt in spiritual baths for personal purification, or incorporating it into ceremonies to symbolize the removal of impurities. Personal Spiritual Practices Individuals may use the symbolism of salt to remind themselves of the importance of maintaining spiritual purity and seeking divine cleansing. This can involve practices aimed at removing spiritual impurities and fostering a renewed and purified relationship with the divine. Conclusion Salt's symbolism in purity and spiritual cleansing underscores its significance in both biblical teachings and spiritual practices. Purity Salt represents the concept of divine purity, emphasizing the need for sincerity and unblemished offerings in one's relationship with God. Spiritual cleansing Salt's role in cleansing rituals highlights its symbolic power to remove spiritual impurities and restore what has been corrupted. In these ways, salt serves as a powerful symbol of both divine purification and the call for personal and communal spiritual integrity. The concept of salt as a symbol of the preservation of faith is deeply embedded in biblical symbolism and spiritual practice. Here's an exploration of how salt represents the maintenance and preservation of faith. 1. Biblical Symbolism of Preservation Preservation of Righteousness Matthew 5 verse 13 Jesus refers to believers as the salt of the earth. This metaphor suggests that just as salt preserves food from decay, believers are to preserve and uphold righteousness and moral integrity in the world. The role of salt here signifies that faith and moral values should be maintained and protected against corruption and decay. Covenant of Salt Numbers 18-19 All the holy contributions that the Israelites present to the Lord I give to you, and your sons and daughters, as your perpetual share. It is an everlasting covenant of salt before the Lord for you and your offspring. 2 Chronicles 13 verse 5 Don't you know that the Lord, the God of Israel, has given the kingship of Israel to David and his descendants forever, by a covenant of salt? The covenant of salt represents a permanent and unbreakable agreement between God and his people. 
Salt's enduring nature symbolizes the unchanging and eternal nature of God's promises and the preservation of the faith passed down through generations. 2. Spiritual Preservation Maintaining Faith Just as salt prevents food from spoiling, it symbolizes the preservation of faith in a world that can be spiritually corrupt. Believers are called to maintain their faith and uphold divine principles, serving as a preservative influence in society. Guarding Against Decay In a broader sense, salt's role in preventing decay and spoilage can be seen as a metaphor for guarding against spiritual decay. Faith, like salt, needs to be actively preserved and protected from the negative influences and moral decline present in the world. 3. Theological Implications Enduring Faithfulness The symbolism of salt emphasizes the importance of enduring faithfulness. Just as salt maintains its preservative qualities over time, believers are encouraged to remain steadfast in their faith and commitment to God's teachings. Resistance to Corruption Salt's ability to preserve food from spoilage represents the role of believers in resisting moral and spiritual corruption. This preservation aspect highlights the need for believers to remain vigilant and dedicated to maintaining spiritual purity and integrity. 4. Practical Applications Living Out Faith Believers are encouraged to live out their faith actively, maintaining moral and spiritual integrity in their daily lives. This involves upholding divine principles, resisting negative influences, and acting as a positive influence in their communities. Community Influence as the salt of the earth, believers are called to influence their communities positively, preserving and promoting righteousness and virtue. This can involve engaging in acts of compassion, justice, and moral leadership. Personal Spiritual Practices Individuals may use the symbolism of salt to remind themselves of the importance of preserving their faith. This can involve regular spiritual practices, such as prayer, meditation, and study of sacred texts, to maintain and strengthen their spiritual commitment. Conclusion The symbolism of salt in preserving faith highlights its importance in biblical and spiritual contexts. Preservation of Righteousness Salt represents the role of believers in maintaining and upholding moral and spiritual integrity in a world prone to corruption. Covenant of Salt The enduring nature of salt symbolizes the unbreakable and everlasting nature of divine promises and the preservation of faith through generations. Enduring Faithfulness Salt's role as a preservative emphasizes the need for steadfastness and dedication in maintaining one's faith. In these ways, salt serves as a powerful symbol of the preservation of faith, encouraging believers to uphold their spiritual values and remain steadfast in their commitment to divine principles. The Hidden Truth of Salt The idea of salt as a hidden truth in the Bible refers to the layers of symbolic meaning behind this seemingly simple substance. While salt is common in everyday life, its significance in scripture and spiritual traditions reveals deeper truths about faith, covenant, purity, and spiritual warfare. Here's an exploration of the hidden truth of salt. 1. Salt as a Covenant Symbol One of the hidden truths of salt is its role in establishing and maintaining covenants in the Bible. Salt's association with permanence, preservation, and purity makes it a powerful symbol for eternal agreements between God and His people. The Covenant of Salt As mentioned in Numbers 18.19 and 2 Chronicles 13 verse 5, salt was a symbol of an everlasting covenant. This reveals the hidden truth that God's promises are eternal and unbreakable, just as salt preserves and endures. The Covenant of Salt reminds us of the faithfulness and enduring nature of God's relationship with His people. 2. Salt as a purifying agent Salt's purifying properties go beyond its physical uses. It also symbolizes spiritual cleansing and sanctification. Spiritual cleansing The use of salt in purification rituals, such as Elisha cleansing the waters of Jericho, 2 Kings 2 verses 20-21, reveals a hidden truth about the need for spiritual renewal. Salt symbolizes God's power to cleanse, purify, and restore what is corrupted or impure. It reminds us that just as salt can cleanse physically, God can cleanse us spiritually. Moral Integrity Jesus' teaching in Matthew 5 verse 13 reveals the hidden truth that believers, as the salt of the earth, are to act as agents of moral integrity in the world. Salt preserves righteousness, just as faith preserves moral values in a world prone to decay and corruption. 3. 
Salt as a Spiritual Weapon Salt is often viewed as a spiritual weapon against evil forces, though this aspect may not be immediately obvious. Protection from Evil In various spiritual traditions, salt has been used to ward off evil spirits or protect against negative influences. This hidden truth reveals that salt is not just a mundane substance but carries protective spiritual power. By using salt in rituals, prayers, or as a symbol, believers invoke God's protection and purification in their lives. Symbol of Judgment Salt's destructive properties, e.g., Lot's wife turning into a pillar of salt, Genesis 19 verse 26, highlight another hidden truth. Salt can also symbolize divine judgment. It represents the finality and severity of God's punishment for disobedience. This dual nature of salt, both protective and destructive, reveals its deeper spiritual significance. 4. Salt as a symbol of preservation. Salt's ability to preserve food reveals a hidden truth about the preservation of faith and righteousness. Preservation of faith. Salt's role in preservation symbolizes the enduring nature of faith. Just as salt prevents decay, it reminds believers to maintain their spiritual integrity in a world filled with corruption. The hidden truth here is that faith, like salt, must be actively preserved and nurtured to remain effective. Preserving the Covenant The covenant of salt emphasizes the idea that God's promises are meant to be preserved across generations. This hidden truth points to the responsibility of believers to pass down their faith and uphold their part of the covenant. 5. The Power of Small Things Another hidden truth of salt is that it emphasizes the power of small things. Though salt is a small and seemingly insignificant substance, it carries enormous symbolic weight in the Bible. Small but powerful, just as a small amount of salt can change the flavor of food or preserve it from spoilage, a small act of faith can have a significant impact on the world. The hidden truth here is that even the smallest actions or commitments in faith can preserve righteousness, protect from evil, and purify the soul. 6. Salt as a symbol of wisdom and grace. In the New Testament, salt is also used to symbolize wisdom and gracious speech. Colossians 4 verse 6, Let your conversation be always full of grace, seasoned with salt, so that you may know how to answer everyone. The hidden truth here is that salt represents discernment, wisdom, and grace in communication. Just as salt enhances the flavor of food, Wisdom enhances our conversations, allowing us to respond with grace and insight in our interactions with others. Conclusion The Hidden Truth of Salt The hidden truth of salt in the Bible is that this common substance carries profound spiritual meanings, covenant, and permanence. Salt represents the enduring nature of God's covenants, highlighting His faithfulness and the permanence of His promises. Purity and Cleansing Salt symbolizes spiritual purification and renewal, reminding us of God's ability to cleanse us from sin and impurities. Protection and Spiritual Warfare Salt is used as a spiritual weapon, offering protection from evil and symbolizing divine judgment. Preservation of Faith Salt represents the preservation of faith, emphasizing the importance of maintaining spiritual integrity and passing down the faith through generations. Power and Smallness Salt teaches us the power of small acts of faith and wisdom, showing that even small commitments can have significant spiritual impact. Through these layers of meaning, salt serves as a rich symbol of God's presence, protection, and purity, calling believers to uphold their faith, live righteously, and trust in God's eternal promises. Understanding these aspects can deepen one's appreciation of the biblical symbolism and its application in spiritual life. Salt with its diverse uses and meanings, serves as a powerful symbol of spiritual truth and divine influence.